if everyone simultaneously does that on, on this date, on January 3rd, well then it, it is the same as doing a Bitcoin, uh, as doing a bank run. Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. In today's episode, we're talking about proof of keys. That's right, we're talking about, you know, proof of keys. Now you're probably, some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Some of you guys have no idea what I'm talking about and basically that's why I'm making this video. Um, for a lot of you guys, um, you guys are always wondering and asking me all kinds of questions about, you know, um, crypto, you know, Bitcoin, whatever, all that stuff. Um, but, you know, this is now going to be like, uh, you know, intermediate level um, knowledge, okay? So, one of the main um, advantages to having something like, you know, Bitcoin, for example, um, is the fact that, you know, you own it. And how, how do you own it? Well, because you have your keys. Just like, you know, these keys allow me to get into my house or into the car or into like any kind of, you know, building or safe or anything like that. Um, well, it's the same thing, you know what I mean? Um, having those keys, you know, same as like your Bitcoin keys allow you to make sure that you are the only one that can access those uh, precious coins, that, that, that wealth that you've uh, accumulated and stored there. So basically how it works is like this. When you um, first open up, you know, your whole, um, you know, Bitcoin experience, you know, one of the things that you need to quickly learn are what are public keys and what are private keys. Now, it's pretty obvious, you know, what, you know, one or the other have to, you know, so for example, <laughs> Public means the public gets to know what these keys are and private means, well, I wouldn't be telling everybody if I were you. In fact, I wouldn't tell anyone if I were you about your, your you know, those keys. So think of public keys as your address where, or your telephone number or your email address or something like that in which, you know, everyone knows what it is or you can show it to everyone, you have no problem with that. And then when you're, um, you know, when you have that address out there, you know, people can, hola, buenos días. <laughs> um, when you have those, you know, keys out there, I mean, that address out there, you know, people can uh, basically visit you, right? Because they, this public key. Um, so this public key, this public address, people can basically look it up on the blockchain. And when they're looking it up on the blockchain, they get to see your, you know transactions now remember all coin all kind of coins are different but we're gonna stick with bitcoin for now okay even though i'm wearing a litecoin shirt it also works for this and most cryptocurrencies okay so and by the way why am i starting um well anyways let, let me finish this explanation so that's what public keys are you know public keys are basically you know, you know not just your address but your public ledger and um, all this other stuff, you know what I mean? That basically keeps a record of everything you're doing. So, you know, with that being said, you know, that answers or should answer, you know, the whole privacy question because a lot of people ask is like, whoa, is, uh, you know, something like Bitcoin private? Well, if you can basically look up every transaction by just inserting your public key into a certain, you know, blockchain explorer, just think of like Internet Explorer, but for the blockchain, okay? <laughs> um, then you know it's not so private is it so that's you know that should answer that right there you know again that's what we're moving towards privacy with other coins and other technology um and bitcoin still has its day and its moment um and its use you know just like gold and silver does um so but anyways i digress we're not going to get into that right now we'll talk that in other episodes in fact in the future i'm going to be still making bitcoin and cryptocurrency episodes because there's a high demand for them and um, we're, I'm not gonna bombard the video, you know, my channel with those because, again, you know, um, I want to talk about a bunch of other things, you know. So with that being said, because there's a lot of other things that there are to talk about that all fall in line with everything we're doing here. But anyways, I digress. Um, I'm gonna, at the very least, you know, start pumping, you know, one or two dedicated episodes, or at the very least, one live stream you know a month you know so you know for sure you can expect at least one live stream a month you know dedicated to this subject 
where you can ask me questions and we can talk about all kinds of stuff and we'll definitely talk and do all kinds of things also i'm setting up i already have a, a playlist set up for um you know bitcoin uh what you call it for uh you know bitcoin knowledge bitcoin 101 all that good stuff so and you know obviously this is going to be added to that playlist and we're going to be you know creating more you know uh videos like this and adding it to the playlist so it'll be a lot easier to find and access you know for anyone that is looking for a crash course into all this because i do have a lot of this knowledge available on a bunch of other videos but they're all spread out through my channel and um you know i think that right now as i make more of these as more and more people are keep asking me more and more about all this stuff i'm just gonna easily you know start catalog you know if you don't want to dig deep through my channel you don't have to i'm gonna start making more of these and uh categorizing them in this special playlist okay so with that being said you know we've already gotten like about six minutes into the video and we haven't even talked about uh private keys so what are private keys well again private keys that would be the equivalent of let's say that you have a safe the number on the safe or the keys to that safe that's what private keys are so even though with your public keys aka your public address you know people know where you are where you live they can access and see your stuff they cannot get in or or look at or do anything or do anything to your uh you know what i mean to your account if they don't have unless they have your private keys that's the only way they can access your account so today well not today i don't know when you're watching this but on january 3rd we actually celebrate proof of keys day all right and it was all started by this guy named trace mayer you know trace mayer he's uh you know an og in the space been around the space for a long time and this individual here you know mr trace mayer was the one that created this holiday a few years back and um it's a good reminder okay about not just making sure you have your private keys but have a good reminder and a good chance to start you know the education process all over again not just with yourself but everyone else so i'm actually here because uh i came to pay my internet bill and um on the way back we're going to be talking about all kinds of things you know what i mean uh, we're going to be talking more in depth about these private keys we're going to be talking about exchanges we're going to be talking about wallets we're going to be talking about a few other subjects and then again as we go forward um into the year um we're definitely going to be making again talking about more of these subjects in depth today we're just going to do a quick overview it is the first day of the year after all happy new year to all of you guys i know again took me eight minutes right uh for that but regardless guys we're here and we're ready to rock and roll we're going to be taking 2021 by storm instead of having that storm wash us all up and spit us back out okay so all right guys let me pay my internet bill and uh, i'll be right with you on the on the flip side all right guys internet bill is all paid up let's uh head back home and on the way home talk about private keys okay um because that is like the most important aspect or one one of the most important aspects to keeping your bitcoin safe you know to keeping your coins safe in your pocket you need to have uh you know um knowledge of what not, not only private keys are but what their function is so a lot of people are, are you know when uh when i'm we're talking about this stuff you know and uh, they're asking me hey or they're telling me hey jose i just bought my first bitcoin i have it on the cash app or i put it on coinbase or i put it on whatever you know um is it safe there and i'm like well no it's not safe because you do not have your private keys the people that store your bitcoin so in this case either the cash app okay they're storing it on the app or coinbase they're storing it in their facilities or whatever it is <laughs> um and uh, so on and so forth when someone else is storing it for you well they have to have the private keys because well they're storing it for you correct so just think of it like that like it's a safety deposit box that they own okay and um you're storing it in their safety deposit box and they're keeping it for you so that's how that is working you know that's a whole situation with that um and so what you want to do is to step away from all that you know what i mean you want to be able to have your keys to your safe to have your stuff in it correct right that's the whole idea you know with this whole thing so 
Yeah, I'm just uh, trying to not run people over <laughs> or have them run me over. But anyway, so I digress. So, you know, the whole idea, with, you know, with private keys is that you need to, you know, again, not only know where what they are, but where they are at all times. So there's this saying, there is this saying in this whole, in the whole Bitcoin community that basically goes like this. And the dog is saying it right now. You can hear the dog. He's also saying it. Like, you be, don't beat me to it, Toto. Basically, it says, <laughs> not your keys, not your Bitcoin. Okay? So that's why you need to learn what private keys are. And today, okay, or at least on January 3rd, it is proof of keys day. Okay? So on January 3rd, that is the day in which you reproduce you know produce you know have your private keys in hand and uh you might even give it a little test run all right you know make sure your safe works make sure you can open it make sure you can whatever okay and if you don't have your keys well then guess what you know what i mean um again you cannot do um you cannot celebrate proof of keys day because you can't have your keys in your hand all right in order okay again you know you cannot if you you cannot celebrate proof of keys day if you don't have these keys aka your you know bitcoin bitcoin wallet keys in your hand in order to you know make sure that you have your wallet so what does it mean you know why do we do this you know what, what's the whole idea behind that okay so basically on proof of keys day if you you know go through the whole thing of you know reproducing your keys you know again just taking out your keys out of your wallet and just using it you know making sure you're you know open your wallet okay with the keys what you're doing there that is the equivalent of a bitcoin uh bank run okay so if everybody on t in today if everybody on January 3rd, you're probably, you're sh you should be watching this on January 1st, but every, if everyone on January 3rd celebrates Proof of Keys Day, what that means is that everyone is going to go to their wallet and open their wallet with their keys to make sure that, you know, just to give it a test run. Again, just to, you know what I mean? Just to make sure you remember how to do it. So in case you got to update this, you got to do that, whatever. But anyways, the point is, is just to, again, just to make sure that you don't forget how to open your safe at the very least. But at the, at the very most, what it's also doing is that if everyone simultaneously does that on, on this date, on January 3rd, well, then it, it is the same as doing a Bitcoin, uh, as doing a bank run. All right. And what is a bank run? Do some research on that. I'm not going to go into all that. But, you know, basically by doing this, OK, it equates to a bank, a bank run. So guess what? If you're keeping Bitcoin on an exchange, if you're keeping Bitcoin in a third party, if somebody else has your Bitcoin, well, then you're falling into the same trap of like, again, if you keep your money, OK, your fiat money and your bank account and digital numbers and you trust your bank, it's the same thing. You know, you're in that same boat. So you never really did anything. The whole point of Bitcoin is to get away from the banking system, is to create our own system and to, again, you know, implement um, things into the system that would allow us okay to always have be in control of it so right now in the future when bitcoin is more of a thing and and in the future you know when uh, you know people are always thinking oh the, the big bad guys you know they can put a stop to it because they can turn off the internet or turn off the grid well no because again the blockchain is always going to be there eventually once we reconnect you'll be able to access your bitcoin um and at the very least even if um the wallet the you know the usb driver whatever where you keep your bitcoin on is not working well, it doesn't matter because if you have your private keys which are words you know those private keys are basically the way you get in so if everything is destroyed but you at the very least remember your private keys or you have your private keys written somewhere those are the those private keys will allow you to access your bitcoin once you log on again and if you guys know anything about this uh space and been in this space for a long time you can already send bitcoin through dumb phones through radio waves and so on and so forth so it's like we don't need all this fancy technology to use it okay so just uh a reminder on that but regardless you know that's why i always tell you about gold and silver and other hard assets you know what i mean even property and other things like that but I digress, you know what I mean? I digress. So 
Today we celebrate Proof of Keys Day, and Proof of Keys Day is a very, very, very important day. You know, um, why is it an important day? Because it helps keep Bitcoin in check, all right? It helps keep, you know, the protocol and the people that are, you know, behind the whole thing in check. Because again, if we don't have something like this, then all of a sudden, you know what I mean? Um, exchanges, which are acting as banks at the moment, and again, banks and uh, the institutions, you know, these institutions, you know, um, that hold all these Bitcoin. Well, again, you know, they can keep holding all these Bitcoin and then just give you a piece of paper that says you own Bitcoin. And then when the shit hits the fan, you're just going to have that little piece of paper. And when you try to cash it, you're not going to get nothing. All right. Just like every other time in human history, um, as it was done with gold and silver and other assets. So there's not going to be any different. That's what you need to have your keys. Okay, so having your keys on hand, having your Bitcoin keys on hand is basically the equivalent. Oh, I'm going to take it out real quick. Hold on. But it is the equivalent of having a physical Okay, the equivalent of having a physical silver or gold coin on you. All right, so that is the that is how you can physically keep on a hold onto your Bitcoin. And what is these Bitcoin keys? What are these Bitcoin keys? These Bitcoin keys are just your password. And again, we'll talk more about this stuff in depth. Okay. And I have already a bunch of other videos that talk about these things and so on and so forth. And we're going to be making more videos on this topic, okay? But to sum it all up, it's just a password, okay? It's a complicated password, but this password is what allows you to have your, you know, these, you know, right here. And by having this, that password, that is the equivalent, that is the equivalent of having, okay? That is the equivalent of having the physical Bitcoin. So again, not your keys, not your Bitcoin. So now you understand a little more as to why it's important to have your keys, to be in control of your keys, to be the only one that has your keys and nobody else. And so to, to celebrate, you know, proof of keys day, again, all you got to do is be able to reproduce your keys. What does that mean? What does reproduce your keys means? It means you gotta be able to get your fucking keys out of your wallet and show them. So if you don't have the ability to have your private keys on hand, then you do not own your Bitcoin and you need to rectify this ASAP. So that's what proof of keys day is. It's a reminder, a constant reminder. If you're a Bitcoin hodler, well then again, this is your one time a year where you can check on you know, your treasure, your ledger, your whatever, your hard wallet and check, uh, you know, make sure you can log in. You got to add any firmware. You got to move things around. You got to yada, yada, yada. You know, check your keys, you know, do all that stuff. If you're new to this, this is a great opportunity where we, the older generation, um, again, I know, right? It's, it's like this thing's been around forever. But anyways, but where we get to, you know, remind you guys as well, you know what I mean? About what these things are and, and use this as a learning opportunity to show you and to educate you on private keys and public keys. Because again, you know, a lot of this new new stuff, just like any new technology, just like any new technology or any new anything, it is uh, always very hard to grasp and, and you know, grasp and put your head around it a lot of times. So it's the same exact thing with what we're going through right now, where a lot of people already got it and they've grasped it. They figured it out and a little bunch of other people are still trying to figure it out. And so this is, you know, uh, a perfect day in which we can always talk about private keys okay because without your private keys well you don't have any bitcoin to begin with the private key is the most important aspect to this whole vehicle that we're driving here right that we're doing here so i really hope that you enjoyed today's episode i know it's the first episode of the year and we're starting off with bitcoin i know some of you guys are like bro but you know again this is you know the obligatory first episode of the year type of thing for this channel at the very least because it is a uh, part of everything we talk about here okay um which is learning how to survive um on your own <laughs> in a sense okay and learning how to you know um be so you know self-sustainable and uh learn how to you know what i mean get away from uh 
all the things that we've been taught and so on and so forth in fact we got a lot of surprises for you this year not just in this channel but on the other channels don't forget to please check out the other channels okay i got three other channels so that's four channels in total um we got the travel channel we got this channel we have a cooking live channel and we have a podcast okay so just check everything out i have everything on my website okay you already know my website is just my name.com okay jose .com. so go check it out and um you already know what to do i hope you guys are having a wonderful wonderful first day of the year um hope you guys are recovering from your new year's eve and your 2020 and i hope you guys are ready to take 2021 by storm and take it to the next level all right guys so thanks again for watching don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon but more importantly than anything else please stay awesome thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one bye